better get the mouse traps out. I see some droppings in the spoon drawer. Okay, I'll set them up in the usual spots. One by the kitchen table and one underneath the cabinet. One customer. One customer. <laughs> so, uh, got a customer in the kitchen, got one by the table. I don't know how they're getting in. I'm going to go look outside, see if I see any holes. If I see anything, I'll plug them up. Well, at least with these traps, they're not going to chew through them like the plastic ones. Yeah, I know. I had to glue a piece of metal over the hole that they gnawed through. These mice, they are never ending. We must have hundreds in the house, hundreds. We just have to keep putting them out. We get rid of them eventually, we always do. Two customers. Two customers. My neighbor has a big mouse problem this year. Mine too. She got a humane trap. She traps them. She takes them outside, lets them go. They come right back. You have to take them like a mile away. Really? You need to take them that far away? If you don't want them to come back, yeah. My bread drawer seals shut. And those mice kept getting in and chewing the bag. I had a mouse in my room last night. I could hear him scratching around. Yeah, I had one in my wall too. We must have so many of them. You know, that mouse that I just took out looks like the same mouse that I took out this morning, the one with the crooked tail. I wonder if it's the same mouse coming back all the time. How could that be? How is that possible? I wish there was a way 
we could mark them so we could tell if it was the same one coming back. Maybe I could put some dye on their tail or something. Wow, what a great idea. Why don't you mix up some dye and we'll mark their tails with a paintbrush. Okay, I've got some food dye. I think I'll try it with that. There's a mouse in both traps and they have the white on the tail. I put them out 15 minutes ago and they're back in the house. We really need to take them far away so they don't keep coming back. No customers. <laughs>